Okay, so chapter 2, section 7 involves solving proportions using cross products. Uh, this will tie into chapter 2, section 6, which is when you were introduced to working with ratios and proportions. Um, so let's just review what a proportion is. Um, a proportion is an equation that shows that two ratios are equivalent. So, for example, the ratio of A to B being equal to C to D. That would be a proportion. An example that you would likely be familiar with is the proportion 3 to 6, or 3 6, is equivalent or equal to 1 to 2, 1 half. I think you could all agree that those two are equal. So oftentimes a proportion is basically just showing the relationship of two fractions being equal to one another. So in this section we're going to talk about solving proportions using cross products. So the idea here is that the cross products of a proportion are equal. So in general, if you have a proportion such that A to B is equivalent to C to D, then their cross products are equal. In other words, the cross product here, A times D, or AD, is equal to the other cross products, B times C, or BC. Now looking at the previous example, this proportion here, we can see how that works. The cross products, 3 times 2, are equal to the other cross products, 6 times 1. We can see that they both equal 6. And this is true of any proportion. So we can use this idea, we can use this principle to help us solve proportions. So let's take a look at this first example. In this example, we're going to solve the proportion. Actually, we're going to do two together. So first, let's take a look at this proportion. 4f over 9 is being shown to be equivalent to 24 over 27. So here we have a proportion. We have an equation showing that this fraction or this ratio is equivalent to this fraction, this ratio here. Now, this is a problem that we could use um, our, our basic inverse operation skills to solve for f. Okay, because here we can see that f is being multiplied by 4 and then divided by 9. So we could do the opposite. We could multiply both sides of the equation by 9 to eliminate this, and then divide both sides of the equation by 4 and um, solve for f. But let's practice using this idea of cross products. So what you want to do is, if you're solving a proportion using cross products, your first step is to set the cross products equal to one another. So here we have 4f times 27. That's the cross products there. And that, that is going to be equivalent to the other cross products, 9 times 24. And so once you set the cross products equal to one another, you want to simplify and then solve. So here we have 4f times 27. That's 108f. And that's equal to 9 times 24, which is 216. So we simplified, and now we solve for f. It's being multiplied by 8, so we do the opposite. The inverse of multiplying by 8 is dividing by 8. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. Here, these cancel to 1, leaving us with 1f is equal to 2. And that would be our solution in this case. So let's look at another one. Let's 
so in this next problem, we have the proportion 3 over x, the ratio of 3 to x, is being shown to be equivalent to the ratio of 2 to x over 6. Now you'll notice this one's a little different than the last because x is located in three, or I'm, I'm sorry, two different locations, whereas um, in the previous example, f was only written once. So once again, we have a proportion. We have one ratio being shown to be equivalent to another ratio, so we can solve this using the idea of cross products. Three times x minus six is equivalent to two times x, or x times two. So the way we have to write this is because three has to be multiplied by this entire quantity here, we're gonna have to use parentheses. So we wanna show that three, the product of three and x minus six is equal to the product of x and two, or two x. So first we um, set our cross products equal to, not, to one another and now we simplify and solve. So here we can simplify by distributing through. This will give us 3x minus 18 equals 2x. This is an equation in which our variables are located on both sides. Again, we've kind of been keeping with the rule that um, to eliminate the smaller of the two, so two is smaller than three. So to eliminate that, we would subtract it because that's a positive 2. So subtracting it will get us 0. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other side as well. So the result here is 0. Here we have x minus 18. And then all we have to do is add 18 to both sides. And we get that x is 18. And so that's how we solve proportions using cross products.